it helps you to remember it okay now about uh, the detection of uh, dna or rna the detection so how can it detect whether my sample contains any dna or rna or sample contains any nucleic acid uh, for better instinct so how can it determine that as a consequence of this conjugated double bond system as we have seen in uh, in this all cases in case of this keto and in this conjugated double bond system means this is the double bond system with n and c so these double bonds are called the conjugated double bonds and as this conjugated double bond presents there in purine and pyrimidine rings the bases and all of their derivatives which we can see the derivatives of bases means the nucleosides nucleotides and uh, nucleic acids and all these things can observe the highly uh, strong light uh, or the, the near ultraviolet region of the light that means uh, they can they can absorb that light so the absorption can be measured in 260 nanometer as you all know if i am not wrong i am not sure about that but it is 260 nanometer i think uh, 260 nanometer uh, wavelength. We can see uh, the peak if we uh, do a chromat. If we if we go through a spectrophotometry analysis, we can see a peak in 260 nanometer. If the sample contains any nucleic acid derivatives like nucleosides, nucleotides, and all this. Okay, the strong absorbance is often used for quantitative estimation because if we estimate uh, the presence of uh, uh, protein in such cases sometimes the extraction of protein is not only purified in such a way that this protein can uh, can have a contaminations of dna so in those cases this uh, this uh, principle allows us to identify whether my sample contains any trace of dna or not 